Good evening my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you tonight? This is just a quick video to show you the DC07 Origin or refurbished. You might remember this from a week or two ago, the one that I got given and had a look at it at my mum's. Did a little video and if you remember it was pretty ruined. But, as I'm sure you would have guessed, it's come up very nicely indeed. They always do, really. Got a different bit on it, because the one that it had was very marked, like unpolishable marked. This one's much better. But it's still not perfect, but it's only a 50 quidder. I'm not buying it a flipping bin. So again, there's the proof look, because there's the damage to the handle. Which is still fine. Nice new set of tools. I've only got one set of this left, although I've got a few odds and sods. It'll make it worthwhile. Cyclone came up very nicely. As did in there. There you go. That's from me testing it earlier. Now what I'll know though. Nice new filter with air freshener. Nice washed pre motor filter. Yeah, it's fine. No one will look at it. They'll buy it. I'm sure probably go back in a year, so it doesn't work. And I'll go, like, yeah, you can give me 30 quid, and I'll sort it for you. So there we go. The other thing, if you remember, was the hose was a bit stiff. I mean, it still is a little bit stiff, but look how clean it's come. Let's go through the washing machine for you. Yeah, it is a little bit stiff still, but... A, it's not been used, although that does go, that's all been cleaned, with a bit of use that will come up, that will start to loosen up a bit, and if it doesn't, I doubt anybody will notice, to be honest, especially if they've not had one of these before, it's 50 quid man, what do people want 50 quid, the world has a new base plate, and it turns out it needed a new brush roll, because the one that was in it had worn it almost chopped itself in half in between those bits so i popped a new brush roll on it and this brings me on to a bit of a moan actually because this is a qualtex base plate and a qualtex brush roll and i think it's more the base plate than the brush roll although it is a bit of both because they don't fit very well this was a complete bastard to put on Mainly because the end caps of the brush roll, I probably should have swapped the old end caps back on because these are. Oh, let me turn the flash off. There we go, because they're squarer than the cutout. And it's a bit difficult now, and I'm certainly not taking all the power. In fact, you can see why I had to prise it with the screwdriver. Look. Stop focusing. Thank you. It was even more of an angle before I had to get the base plate on. You can see it still doesn't quite meet up now. But it's going to be good enough. These were... Turn the flash back on. These were right pain to get in. It just doesn't fit properly. I might have a bit of a ranty post on Manchester Vax. Because it came from LM Electrical on eBay who are Qualtex. So if you want Qualtex parts, and they are pretty damn good. I mean, for six quid, I'm moaning, but it was only six quid. I could have spent the extra pound and got a second-hand original one. I'll probably more next time, but, yeah. It's a gamble with pattern parts. I mean, that end fits absolutely fine. And I think, to sort this out, what I should have done, and I might still do it, because I don't know if it's up for sale yet, is swap the end caps from the old brush roll. Because they'll probably make it fit a lot better. But, say, the base plates just don't fit 100%. So, if you're going to get a DC07 pattern base plate from Qualtex slash LM Electrical, and they're probably under a load of other names, well, I think Dyson Doctor now, after someone called Malcolm died. So, on Manchester back, sorry about that. They'll all be the same. They're probably going to be a little bit tricky to line up and fit. So, if you have the chance, I would buy a second hand base plate. Just watch out for damage. But it'll do. Look, there's one of my little stickers that I put on my machines. Don't know if it's going to make a difference, but you never know. In 10 years, if you're on eBay or Gumtree and you see something for a fiver and you see that sticker, let me know and I'll tell you what I did to it because I write it down in a book. So, yes. 
There it is. Pretty much good as new. Somebody messaged me a few, well, last week, asking if I had any Dyson's. I said, ah, not yet, mate, but I will do. And I've sent him a picture of this. He hasn't even read the message yet. But if he doesn't, it will go on Facebook for £60 or near offer. And I will still accept the first person that says they'll give me 50 quid for it. Which won't be bad for a freebie, will it? Let's be honest, we just had about £13 worth of parts. Which is a fair profit margin, let's be honest. So there we go. An aftershot of a Dyson, which I don't normally do. Because apart from my DCO ones, I only really do Dysons for profit. Get them in and sell them. I've got DC25 in the hallway that I was it was a refurb job. Didn't have to buy that, although it did need a new upholstery tool, which I'll put that on in a minute. Which again came from Qualtex, and that's lovely. That's really good. I'm not going to do a video about it though. Unless you ask me before Saturday morning, because that's when it's being picked up. So if you want to see what a 699, I'll oh, screw you, I'll do you in a bit. If you want to see what a 699 pattern DC25 style upholstery looks like, comment. Otherwise, they're on eBay. Again, LM Electrical, if you haven't got a Qualtex account. Although, to be fair, the problem with Qualtex is they rape you with VAT and £6.95 shipping. And to be fair, I have priced a few stuff up. It's about the same cost to buy from LM on eBay, unless you're doing a fantastically large order, like three, £400 worth. I priced up 10, fil 10, 10 filter pads for these, actually. Ten pads for these, ten pads for an O4, five of both types of HEPA filter, and ten sets of tools. It was actually seven quid cheaper to order them all through eBay. So, because obviously I can't claim that back because I'm just a bloke on the street, not a business. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I'm actually going to write a rebuild thread on Manchester Vax. Something I've not done in a while. Amy's gone to sleep. She she was up all day when Tuesday. No, when, yeah, Wednesday. Worked a night shift last night. Was up all day today with the children. So she's passed out in bed. Both the kids are asleep. I've done the washing up. Oh, bug I, I do the hangs of washing out there. And then I might do a rebuild thread on possibly the Vax Mac Air that my mum's now got. I've got so many rebuild threads to write. It's not even funny. So... Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.